Among the protests and outbreaks of violence are calls for peace by those calling for justice. KPIX 5 reporter Devin Feely is live in San Jose where he spoke to those trying to calm the tensions. Devin. Yeah, the protests today, they're large, they're loud, as you can see, but they have been altogether peaceful. Now, this tension, the debate between protesters' message and their methods, it's not a new one. It traces its roots all the way back to the civil rights movement, but it's been reignited recently as protests have become unrest as day follows night. I said, well, let's kneel. Let's kneel. Let's pray and let's kneel. You know, let's let them know that we're not, we're not throwing anything at them. We're not trying to hurt them. Reverend Jethro Moore was trying to calm tensions Friday, trying to teach a new generation of activists the tactics of an older generation of protesters who came of age in the civil rights era. Kneeling is one of the most humble ways to say that you're not threatening them. We're here to stand up because we don't like what you did. We want change from your police actions. Reverend Moore says he understands that the anger, the outrage, the pain and frustration that so many feel will not always find perfect expression. But he says he cannot condone the violence and vandalism that convulsed the Bay Area over the weekend. No, I'm not happy about the looting because it takes away from the messaging. It takes away from the fact that a, a man was killed because they thought he gave a fake $20 bill, that a man's life was lost. And here your response is to tear something down. Governor Gavin Newsom drew a similar distinction. The black community is not responsible for what's happening in this country right now. We are. We are. Our institutions. So how then do we steer the conversation back to the issues that sparked the protests in the first place? Police misconduct, racism, and inequality. Am I in, in agreement with, I guess, the actions of a lot of the aggressive protesters? Of course not. Dave Diggs is a business owner and activist and a black man. His barber shop in San Jose was near the heart of the protest Friday. He says if we as a society don't like the fruits of these protests, we have to take a hard look at the root cause. I understand the pain and the frustration that's coming from those protesters because it's deeply rooted. This is once again a live look at the protests in downtown San Jose. Today there's a large gathering of protesters. We have not seen a police presence here at all. Now Reverend Moore says if the ultimate goal is to make meaningful change, to find allies and supporters along the way, he says vandalism and violence defeats the purpose. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX5.